Hi coaches, Mike Kuchar at xandolabs.com. We're going to show you some clips of Coach Rodriguez, the offensive line coach and run game coordinator at Fordham University, has put together on his MAP concept. This coincides with his clinic report, which he submitted, which is an excellent report on, on his MAP concept, which is a, a frontside man run concept with a backside gap concept. It's, very, it's a mix between power and zone. We thought it was pretty creative. Uh, Coach Rodriguez talked about the clinic report, how he's, how he's averaged over eight yards of carry on this the last couple of years. We all know that Fordham had a tremendous year this year, going 11-2, and two, the highest win total since the 1930s over there at the university. So we're going to put the, we're going to show you a few of these clips. I'm going to go through uh, a bunch of them in terms of different variations that he runs a map concept with. And again, coaches, um, you could get the full-length clinic report by becoming an insider member at xandolabs.com where you also be access to full clinic reports, full drill reports, all our research report, and all the finest coaching tools available on our website. So we're going to take you through a few of these here. Now, one of the things that Coach talked about, and again, he's a 10 personnel team. Fordham's a 10 or 11 personnel team. Right now, you're going to see trips open, trips to the field right here. It's going to depend on what kind of box you're going to get. You know, when you talk about a six-man box, it looks like you're going to have seven initially here up front, and you could still run it to a seven-man box, believe it or not, because you have a read concept that's built into it. Okay, with what Coach talked about in Clinic Report, regardless of which way you're reading, okay, you still have that read principle that you could actually put into it and read the backside end or backside five technique. Fordham is a no huddle look tempo team. Okay, so you're going to see here these clips may be a little longer. Coach is checking the play, doing some things offensively based on what he sees. Okay, so now you're going to have an outside linebacker removed, so you're going to get six in, excuse me, you're going to get six in the box here. And we have a wide and tight shot as well that coincide with each other. Okay, front side of the play, they're blocking on. Okay, so the five technique's going to handle that. The tackle's going to handle that five technique. We have a shade, which Coach loves to run into a shade because you got the B-gap bubble. Okay, right here. So you're going to down block over here. Okay, again, he's going to block number one. Guard's going to block number two. Center's going to block back for that three technique. we got a power pull. Coach talks about what he calls a sickle pull, which is an excellent technique we've learned from him. Okay, that he details more in a clinic report where he's pulling just like power. He's going to take the front side linebacker. Okay, he's going to account for that. Now, the key is this backside tackle. Again, he's going to sift from B gap, okay, to backside backer. He's going to be responsible for the backside backer, okay, and how he gets there, again, depends on his path, and that's all detailed in the full length clinic report. So there's the back block. Here comes the guard. Okay, 58 is going to put himself in a bad spot already. He just has to get walled over here. Here comes a tackle coming through as a double puller. Taking the next block, and you got a huge gap inside. Fordham again, the three by one formation here. You're still going to have a four down front. Looks like you're going to have a six man box here by the defense. You got four here, two here. This linebacker's apexed. Now we're going to take it to a three technique here. He's going to run it to a three and a five, which is going to be a little more difficult because you're going to have to make sure that, ta that guard is going to handle that three technique. Okay, so what's important here, you know, it looks like you're going to get two even techniques, okay, by these two defensive tackles. He's man on number one. Even front, he's on, he's man on number two, okay? It re Coach talked about this in the clinic report. It really doesn't matter what you're going to do with that player, but you have to stay with leverage. You've got to try to not let him cross his face. If he crosses your face, then the back's got to take a tighter path, okay, into that A-gap, all right? But he's blocking man-to-man. -man. That's his man. It's a man concept to the front side.
Okay, so now he ends up being a three technique. So 70 is just going to take him on the angle he's on. Here's a back block by the center. Here comes the guard wrapping around. He's going to take the front side backer. Okay, this tackle is responsible for this backer. Again, he's going to work around and try to pick him off as the backside backer. You know, if you had the read principle built in, okay, which Fordham does, a lot of these clips are with the give, but you can see right now that this defensive end is chasing, okay, so you have that pull element, if you'd like to, out the back end. Now you're going to see against Villanova, who's an odd stack team. And what you're going to see now is QMAP, which again was discussed in the clinic report by Coach Rodriguez. Another good option for you. Okay, now a lot of times what he'll do is he'll bring that tight end into the H-back just to seal off the backside C-gap. Okay, he is blocking on. Okay, right now you're going to have these two. Okay, for these two. You have a nose and you have a backer here. Okay, you have a front side guard. Okay, pulling for the play side backer. Now, it was described in the clinic report this tackle could do one of one of two things. Coach Rodriguez calls it a TZT, which is a tight zone through, which he could work to the B gap and handle him that way, especially if there's no down block impeding him here. But watch what happens here. He's actually going to get him on a pull path. Okay, quarterback's right through there. Got a big game, especially for a running quarterback. Tight trips alignment. Now, this is what I like about it. You're going to see now coach details this. Um, coach calls this crossbow, and the technique's in there. Now what you want to do is you're going to run this still to the shade. To the, you're going to have a wide five and a three here. Okay, we're still running it this way, but coach talked about the purpose, okay, of getting these linebackers on their heels and watching their vision. What's going to happen here is this tailback's going to work across on this path then plant, and then come back to the play side. Okay, so that's the purpose behind it. It's called the crossbow action. You're still going to get the tackle block in number one. You're still going to get the guard block in number two. The center is going to back block. Backside guard is going to pull, excuse me, coaches, for the first front side backer. Okay, backside tackles now is going to pull for the backside backer. Okay, and you have this tight end in here just to hold that C-gap defensive end to make sure he's not active in the run game. Okay, there it is. Excellent crossbow action by that back. Great footwork. He's able to get north and south right away. Tough technique. You know, something you have to coach, something you have to teach on a regular basis, but certainly possible. Okay, now they're going to bring a tight end into the game. Again, the purpose of bringing in a tight end into the game in this situation is to hold off that C-gap. Okay, if you don't want to have the read principle out of the map concept, you do have the option, okay, to have the read principle in there. But if you don't, you can hold off that C-gap to the front side. And again, crossbow action by the back. He's coming downhill. Okay, you see the double pull concept. Okay, here comes a front side guard, or excuse me, back side guard for the front side backer, back side tackle for the back side backer. The crossbow action is going to hold the linebackers, as you'll see in the end zone shot. Okay, so here's blocking number one, here's blocking number two, you got that B-gap bubble, okay, the crossbow action for the back, and again, that crossbow technique is referenced in the full-length clinic report at xandolabs.com. If you choose to become an insider member, you could get all access to Coach Rodriguez's report, the offensive line coach and run game coordinator for them. Back block by the center, which he talks about here, okay, we have a front side guard pull and a back side tackle pull, okay, for the back side backer double pull concept. Excellent, excellent play scheme. Okay, good job by that tight end just holding that C-gap player. And, and, and things you're going to get, you know, and, and it's a man, again, it's a man concept for the front side. So coach talks about, sorry coaches, coach talks about how to handle that spike. He's manned on. So you get that spike, he just takes him down. The back sees it. Back knows he's got to hit one hole wider. you got double pulls anyway. He should be in good shape. And again, coaches, you get the full access to the clinic report as well as all our drill videos and clinic reports at www.xandolabs.com. Three by one formation, another crossbow action. By the back.
And again, most teams, when you're going to come out three by one, especially to the field, most teams are going to set their three technique to the field. If you're a four down team, that's standard. I know we do it ourselves. Okay, so you're going to have a shade to the boundary. Excellent play concept to the boundary. Tackles blocking number one, guards blocking number two, centers block backing, blocking back, guard wraps, first play side backer. Now, again, coach doesn't always recommend it to a 3 5, but it is possible to get that guard or tackle on a track to block the backside backer. Okay, he details all of that in the report. There's tons of techniques that he goes on with that. Okay, right now he's going to work this tackle. He's going to work to get himself in a spot to be there. He's able to get through there. Okay, three by one formation again. Good concept again to that nose shade five technique. Now this backer's tight. Well, as he steps to fill, here comes a backside guard. He's going to take him. He's going number thirty. He's going to get him cause caught him cause himself to get caught up in the mesh. Anytime that five technique's wide like that, the tackle is just going to take him and wall him. Okay, if you see that B gap entry point, is big enough. Looks like 45 does decide to spike. Okay, again, tackle's just going to lock on. Ball gets bounced one hole wider. It's something you have to teach your running backs how to do. Certainly feasible. Getting in open space is always positive. <clears throat> okay, another odd front. We're going to show you the read concept built in. Again, Fordham does not pull, but they do have the option to read it. Okay, tackle's blocking number one. Okay, you have the guard in the center working for these two right now. Should be automatic combo. Okay, this guard's backside guard's wrapping. Okay, he's going to handle the first play side backer. Okay, and again, Coach Rodriguez talked about in his clinic report a TZT technique, tight zone through for that tackle to work to that backer. Okay, the read could be right here. If you want to read it, again, it's up to you. Okay. Right now, this quarterback certainly has the option to pull the ball, okay, but with 52 sitting right there, may not be a good call. So he does give it. Ball does get bounced. Okay, and again, this, this defensive end right now, he's holding the C-gap. So that tackles up. You see this, you know, defensive end's trying to get vertical. He's push-pulling. He's holding that C-gap, but still, it's a short enough corner, okay, where that back could get around it. And he does. Tight trips formation. Again, talked about the use of that tight end. Keeping him in there to hold the C-gap if need be, if you wanted to give the ball. And not have a read element built in. Now the one thing I'm going to point out here, I don't know if it's going to come up in a wide, sh in a tight shot, but the slot does a great job, and this is something that you have to train. We didn't, you know, this coach Rodriguez is a run game coordinator, O line coach. We spent a lot of time in the clinic report talking about O line play, but this is a great job by number 24, that inside slot, to dig out that apex player. Okay, certainly a big component, especially if the ball gets kicked inside. And that's just a great job of downhill running by that back. Once this linebacker apex is out here, I mean you got you got you got five in the box, coaches. One, one, two, three, four, five. You know, I mean this is this is money in the bank. Seventy-three is gonna take him. He's got all of him. Okay, we got the combo happening right here. Okay, backside guard taking care of the Mike linebacker. You don't even need that backside tackle. But this is the TZT technique, which coach talked about in the clinic in the, in the report. Okay, so 84 is going to cut him off. He's tight zone and throwing. He's just going to seal that thing and watch where the ball winds up hitting. 
Okay, that Mike's going to keep it wide. Running back six is outside foot in the ground, gets north to south in a hurry. Coaches, we appreciate your attention. Uh, we appreciate Coach Rodriguez submitting his clinic report on his MAP scheme. I think it's an excellent scheme and a concept that's inexpensive, as he says. If you're running the power scheme, if you're running you know, the inside zone scheme, it's already there for you. Your kids already know it. All you have to do is just introduce it, and you have to rep it, get the crossbow action for the back involved. And if you are a read team with the inside zone like Fordham is, the quarterback's seeing the same thing anyway. So pretty inexpensive concept to use. Um, you can put it in this year, hopefully have some success with it. We appreciate your attention. Again, coaches, you can access the full-length clinic reports on www.xandolabs.com. We appreciate you signing in, and good luck this offseason.